Joseph Mitzi opens up the scoring for Newmarket early in the first on this wrister that beats Aurora's Andy Monroe. Keaton Radcliffe of the Tigers answers with a wraparound that ties the game at one apiece. But a minute later, Taylor Joseph puts the Tigers up. Midway into the first, Christian Cella deflects a Jacob Piltzmaker shot from the point, and we have a tie game. The only goal of the second period comes while the Tigers are on the power play. Number 14, Johnny Curran, stuffs one in on the open side of Richardson to put the Tigers up 3-2. Early in the third, Drake Board scores another bizarre goal when he swats at a loose puck that somehow gets past Richardson. Tigers lead 4-2. But the scrappy hurricanes keep on coming. Anthony Salemi feeds Sam Hu, and Hu buries it. Late in the third, Keaton Ratcliffe is unable to find the net, but does end up with a stick to the chops. With two and a half minutes remaining in regulation, Newmarket pulls Richardson and goes on the power play. Mitchell Dugan puts a shot on net that finds its way past Monroe. We are going to overtime. Both Andy Monroe and Tyler Richardson would repeatedly come up with big saves in OT. Of the 25 shots taken by both teams in the period, none of them could get by a netminder. So we head to a second period of overtime. Michael Laidley breaks down the wing and gets around Dugan. Firing a shot from the top of the slot, he ends it. The Aurora Tigers win 5-4 and take a commanding three games to one lead back home. They will face their young street rivals on Friday, March 6th with a chance to put an end to the series.
For Redline Productions, I'm Troy Harkin.